In October of 2019, I decided to take a long weekend to London. I booked a basic economy ticket from American Airline, which was operated by British Air. The flight was long, but it was more than just basic. All the details on this flight are on my blog, www.designinglife.biz. Link below. Hey guys, okay, so I, I made it. Um, I'm here, um, but look, I'm so dense. I have no sense of direction. So I'm like, I just need to get out of the train station because once I, now that I have my, um, my internet plan, I can basically use Google Maps to get me where I need to go. I do need to find the exit. Hey guys, so I found the exit finally. <clears throat> so here's the thing, um, nobody walks in LA, so this is really difficult. <laughs> My actual hotel is not very far from here, but um, it's uh, about a mile, I guess you would say. So I'm trying to just kind of soak in the scene. I searched for the quirkiest hotel I could find and decided on the Pavilion Hotel. Each room has a different theme. Mine was called Better Red Than Dead. It had everything I needed and it looked like a fancy bordello. I loved it. The restroom was tiny, but the decor was out there. What is that? I don't know, but let's see what it does. It's to hang this curtain. And this curtain is right off my bed, so is it just decoration, I guess? Because look, otherwise it's just going to drape down on my face. So <laughs> what's the point of that? I also discovered that this hotel was used for adult photo shoots, if you know what I mean. You can find all the 18 and over details on my blog, link below. I just want to notate how many pillows they gave me. I didn't even have to ask for it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's another one under there. Nine, ten. See, look at this. Like a princess. Good morning, by the way. I know, I'm just waking up. I look like shit. It is a foggy day outside. I'm gonna clean a little bit because I wanna set up for some uh, stories and such that I wanna tell you guys. Um, and the hotel is so cute. I mean, it's very tiny, but it's so cute and it makes for a lot of um, really nice backdrops, you know, to for a video. So, cool, why not? So my hotel gives me continental breakfast every morning, which they put outside your door. And it has, let's see, a waffle, a orange juice, what's this, an oat bar, and another juice. Is it blurry or just me? There you go. Milk. Cool, I'm happy. And I have coffee stuff right over there so i'm good i didn't think this would be so tasty it's just like a waffle but oh my god it is so good mm. oh my god! 
Hey guys, what's up? So, I am in London right now. I'm in my room. It's called the Pavilion Hotel. It's got a longer name. It's like the Pavilion Rock and Roll Hotel London or something like that. Anyway, I'm gonna do a full on hotel review in my blog. I'll do some here too, but you know, for now, I wanna get into this story. So, let me tell you a little bit of something. I've, I've probably mentioned this before, but I am really, really bad at directions um, to the point where I like get lost everywhere I go. So I, you, you can't tell me go here, go there because I'm just like, what, huh, what, huh? And I just, I turned the wrong way. I get lost wherever I go. So here's what happened so I chose this hotel not only because it's super cute it's really unique it's kind of quirky it's original but also it's really close to Paddington Station so I, you can walk from there it's one stop away but if you walk it's not a big deal it's like five minutes so I thought that's foolproof I will not get lost walking to this so I map it out you know before I come here and I'm like oh yeah okay it says eight minutes, um, eight minute walk or something like that. So I'm like, okay, great. So um, I'm all set. I, I, you know, I get here and now that I have T-Mobile, I have um, internet access. I have an unlimited data plan abroad. I pay for it, um, it's, it's great. But anyway, regardless, I get here and I'm like, okay, let's map it out. And I map it out again. I just type in the Pavilion Hotel, um, and it says 20 minutes walk. And I'm like, oh, I thought it was really close to the station. I don't know, I guess I could be wrong. Um, 20 minutes is not far. Um, I said it was about a mile, which which isn't far. That's still close to the station. I mean, it's not next door. I mean, it's not next door anyway. So I'm like, okay, no big deal, right? We can walk, I have legs, you can walk. So I'm like, great. In the meantime, let's like lollygag and check out some sites because you know, it's different, the buildings, the architecture, the weather, the streets, everything's different here. So I thought I would, you know, just kind of take my time and, and walk and find my hotel. So I map out my route to this hotel here, the Pavilion Hotel, and I'm like, great. So I start walking, I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Walking, walking, walking. Oh, cute. Let's take a picture. Oh, that's cute. Let's take a picture. You know, stuff like that. So, I, um, <clears throat> and I remember when I first mapped it out, I actually Google mapped it and I walked it on the maps. So, I was like, okay, it's right next to a park. Perfect. Yes, this, this will work. I will remember that there's a park, you know, nearby. So, I get to where it tells me and, um, you know, it's kind of like a turn, turn, uh, when you see the park kind of kind of thing. So there's a park and I'm like, okay turning right here And I get to where my hotel is and it's not a hotel There isn't even anything there. I mean, there's a building but it is the entire building is being renovated. So there is um, There's no sign there are a lot of um, I like construction stuff like ladders and paint buckets and stuff like that and i'm like what like i was a little confused because i'm like well maybe this is the back of the building i don't know I don't, I don't know these things so i'm like kind of walking around the block and i'm like no i don't think this is the back of the building so then i'm like fuck okay i have no idea where i am so i just walk a mile in some aimless direction and i don't know where i am so now i'm a little worried um not so freaked out because I'm like, well, last resort, I'll catch an Uber if I find where the hell my hotel is. Um, so I, I look for my um, uh, confirmation where I booked it and it doesn't have the address on there. Of course it does, of course it does. I don't know why, um, but it doesn't have the confirmation of the address on the confirmation. And so then I'm uh, just Googling, you know, where the address is. So then I find it and then I map it out again. And then it says it's 30 minutes back to where I just walked from. So at this point, I'm like, I no, I'm not doing this. Fuck this shit. I am not doing this. I am not walking. I am just going to live on the street right here. <sighs> so after all of that blows over, because you know, I'm pissed, um, I decide to focus and plan something out. So 
So then I'm like, no, I, I'm not walking this shit anymore. I am tired. I am jet lagged. I am taking an Uber. I opened my Uber app and I punched in my address and the Uber driver, you know, it only took like five minutes for him to come pick me up. He he gets me and, you know, we make some small talk and I tell him the story and he's like, oh weird, this isn't even the like right part of town. <laughs> so uh, he, he drops me off and I actually see the sign to the hotel as he's driving, you know, here. So I'm like, okay, I know that, I know that um, I'm in the right place. So I finally get here and I check in. It's like, it took me two hours. I got here, well, my plane landed at four but by the time I uh, got into the city and it was like 6.30 maybe, maybe a little, maybe like 6.15 um, after landing. It took me like two hours to get here. I just cannot, you know, I will give you the address on my blog. So if you're looking for the hotel, you will find it because you have the address. Not that you shouldn't, but you know, just in case. So I'm trying to find the Amy Winehouse statue and I took a wrong turn and um, I ended up here. I don't know where I am. <laughs> I'm lost again, um, but I think it's right over there somewhere. I'll find it. Okay, so I made it uh, to the Amy Winehouse statue. It's right across from me. So I'm, um, I took some pictures for you guys to see. And guess what? The Serial Killer Cafe, they have a little stand right here. I don't know if they're selling anything because I thought it was the next market over where they have a Serial Killer Cafe, but let's check this out. how much I get lost I am um, I got out of the, the, the tube station in a different area and now I have no idea where I am <laughs> it happens to me every single time I have to retrace my steps if I don't do that I just will get lost for hours I have no sense of direction none at all That night, I decided to check out Sweatbox, the young gay happening bathhouse, to see what I could discover, and since there's nudity involved, all the dirty details will be on my blog. Link below. But I warn you, it's 18 and over only. The next day, I went to Vault 139 and it blew my mind. 
head over to my blog, but warning, don't read that one if you have heart issues. You might pass out from all the eating and overheat. Hey guys, so I'm doing a Jack the Ripper museum. It's kind of new, it's in, I think they opened in a couple a couple years ago, but it is uh, pretty cool so far. I just got here, so. <laughs> So this is the mortuary. Look. It's got pictures of all of the dead victims and how they were found. And, um, like this one, I think you saw this one on my blog. There's this one here. 